I've been like, I don't, I, I think a while ago, I considered myself a fan only because, you know, I just, like I, for the longest time, I was looking forward to his music. Like he obviously came out with Old Town Road, then Panini, then, uh, didn't he have a song called Ro Rodeo? I think he did. But anyway, every, uh, what other ones? Uh, ah, what's the one I'm, uh, Holiday, Holiday. I, I really like that song. Industry Baby, he, he comes out with a bunch of these songs that I just like, like I like hear hearing them. And what's funny is I like different remixes of the Old Town Road as well. Like there was one with Young Thug on there. There was, uh, I don't know, I'd be listening to that one though. It's pretty much, pretty much the only other remix I listen to of that song. But like, I look forward to his music all the time and he's been doing some, let, like, I don't even know how to explain it, to be honest. I just, I think it's cool though. I think it's hella cool because it's sort of just in your face, you know, like, I don't care what you think. And it's, it, I think it's dope. So let's go to what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scroll through his Instagram. And I'm, man, this is gonna be interesting. Should have had this pulled up. Hold on a second. Wow, I'm just gonna. Mm hmm. Let's start about here. All right, so we're all set up. Here we go. So this is just uh, pretty much uh, I'm just going to flip through his Instagram all the way. Maybe all. Yeah, pretty much all the way up till now. Cut. I'll show you and I'll give a little explanation of what I thought when I first saw these. So he's announcing the album, Mont Montero. Am I going forward or backwards? Hope I'm going forward. Yeah, I think. So this, I remember seeing this, I was like, um, uh, I just thought it was really dope. Like the, the visuals are like, I don't want to make it sound weird, but the, vi the visuals are, there's, there's a lot going on and I think it's cool, but, um, pretty much it, it's just, you know, eye catching. I think it's, it's dope, but like, <laughs> you know how there's certain music videos where it don't really matter what the video is. They're just like giving a bunch of visuals of, you know, just different crazy stuff like, like his music videos. That that's what I get from this album cover. And actually made me look forward to the album. I was like, hmm, I wonder how this is gonna go. I wouldn't get on that. Man, I remember when this put, like this got a lot of, you see, it's just, you don't see that. And when you're scrolling through Instagram and it hits you, like part of me laughed a little bit, but then I was like, this is crazy. Like I, I, I read through the comments and, and laughed at people getting triggered by it. Like it was that, it was that funny to me. And I was just like, and yeah, let's go through here. I mean, it's like I said, I can't explain any of this, but it's like what he wants to do, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just a bunch of weird pit, pictures, but they're supposed, the thing is they're supposed to be weird. Like they're legit supposed to be. You run it on a treadmill? See, stuff like this, I, I think is dope about him too. He's just like, he has this self-confidence that, and you know, not saying I'd like wear that or anything, but seeing that, I just admire how eye-popping it is. It's just, you know, people are going to notice you. That's stuff that, you know, people are just going to, regardless of what you say, what you do, uh, if you're walking down the street, people are going to notice you. So, thought that was fire. That's another video. 
like I said, I'm just going to look at because, you know, uh, I can't remember when I followed him. It was a while ago. But anyway, I've just been seeing his post recently. I was like, wow, this is dope. This is just this is just a dope picture because with the um, the fact that he he does all this stuff and it works like this, his Instagram posts, his music videos, all of this stuff. It's it's very eye popping and people want to like a, like you see the thumbnail of of some of his music videos. and You're like, what the hell? What the hell is that? And he gets people to click on him and see what whether they like it or they don't like it. They they click on there and you know, it gets him awards. Like he, he that's the biggest award of the night. It's the video me uh, MTV uh, video music awards and he won the the award for best music video. That's just dope. That's fire. And that's why I like also it's like he can't tell him anything. He's just he's been doing his thing. Man, I remember it. So like I said, at first I laughed, but that, but then I was, I just, I don't know why. It's just, it's weird. I, I sit there and then I chuckle at it for a second. Then I go, I was like, that's fire as hell. You can wear whatever, whatever fuck he wants. He won the best award of the night. Where the hell, hell he wants there? On the red carpet too. Yeah. I guess I'll watch this. Uh, I didn't really see too much of the VMAs, to be honest, I don't really watch it. I look for the results. If someone I like wins, then that's great. But here we go. So, sound's not even on. Oh. That's fire. Got him a performance, too. Oh, geez. Hold on. Uh, uh. You see, these are just fire. Like, I think they're fire looks. Like, it's just, you know, it's eye popping. I mean, who in the hell is walking down? And I don't even know what that is. I don't know if it's a reference for some, to something or it's just not like a night gear. It looks like just night gear or something. Like, you're, he's ready for battle, but he's got on the golden, um, uh, you know, it's gold. It just is eye popping. Did he wear this before? Like, didn't you wear this in for a music video or a performance or something? I don't remember. But anyway, let's get into the next photo here. <laughs> uh, just announcing. Oh, yeah. Monte. Tarot. I'll have to react to the music videos. I don't like reacting to many music videos because, uh, you know, the copyright and everything. By the way, I listened to this album. I, I listened to this album and I thought it was fire. I listened to this album and I thought it was fire. I thought it was fire just because, you know, he... Uh, to a lot of people, I feel like he started off as that, you know, uh, I guess people didn't really take him seriously in a way. Like, it's like, okay, he can make great hits and great, you know, uh, um, one of my tries, like catchy hooks and, you know, like pop like songs that sound great, but. You know, I think they started out saying it didn't have too much substance. This had substance. Like there was, man, the the dead right now, dead right now. I I added that the second I I listened to it. That was fire. What's the other one? The the one that's um uh has a music video. I think one of no. Oh, it's, I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's what I want. That's what I want. That song is fire as well. Anyway, we're going to go through here. You guys should check out the album. I think it's it's definitely a top tier album to train. Uh, just a couple of... Uh, you had a baby shower? Like, I, that's distracting. Like, the, what I'm seeing right now is distracting, but... 
that outfit is fire. Some of his outfits, I'm like, damn, that's very eye popping and that's that's dope. I keep saying eye pop. Oh, that's part of the music video. Okay. All right. I'll have to react to. I remember I saw this. I was like, these billboards are funny. <laughs> Gay question mark. You might be entitled to financial compensation. There's another one. Are you single, lonely, and miserable? Wow. No. <laughs> While I'm single and lonely, I'm just not miserable. I'll say that. Do you hate Lil Nas X? You might be in touch. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just going to shift through here you be posting some stuff i'm like okay i don't that's that's too much bro oh yeah that was a music video see how that's fine oh shit. okay mm, okay maybe you you guys decide when when i should stop maybe it was a long time ago but Oh, just another track list. Wait, go back. I just want to see. Never been a fan of Lil Nas, but this new project he released has me literally pissed and shitting and whoa, okay. Yeah, I did not need to know that. But you ain't a fan of Lil Nas? I'm surprised Lil Nas ain't a fan. Okay, see, he's in a wedding dress. That's fire. Nobody, oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. Ooh, I almost closed, closed the pen. I would've stopped the audio. But we're gonna stop right there. And thought I'd just explain why I think uh, this guy, he could be like that top tier, you know, just superstar. I mean, he already is. He for sure is already like one of the best of 2021, obviously. and you know, the best of the past, he's dropped hits. He's dropped hits every, every year, I think, ever since he, uh, you know, all that happened. I remember I was a fan of his after Old Town Road, and then when he came out that he was gay, I was like, I don't care. It was like, he's still making fire music. It was like, it was, I was like, cool, that's dope. And then, then um, uh, you know, he has this sort of new persona now with the throw it in your face and everything with the uh, images or whatever. And, you know, people see this, you know, it be trending, so, you know, you can't help but to see if you're scrolling through and then you're like, F so if you, <laughs> but it's just, it's a, he's an amazing artist to me. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I consider myself a fan. I'm gonna keep up with what he's got going and, oh, it's explaining. Okay. Sorry. Lost my train of thought, but I'll explain why I think he's the, the, he could be like the biggest superstar in the music industry he could be and you know be the future the future it's because you know he has so much charisma and you know he just um uh every song he makes it like i don't know who produces him but whoever's doing the beats and the fire songs or whatever like he he's like that sort of pop rapper like like drake sort of is because you know drake does di multiple different uh, styles but he's sort of that rep like a more pop pop and rap he goes back and forth or he'll link up with a pop star and um but he's still like make it regardless he's still making you know he almost be drake he almost be drake i i, I think his numbers went down and drake's went up a little bit so he didn't get number one album but he almost beat Drake. And the fact that he, he was, you know, in the third week of, you know, CLB and his first week, like, not not a lot of people have been doing that in 2021. Like, I noticed that. Unless you're Kanye, J. Cole, Drake, or, you know, NBA Youngboy, or maybe Lil Baby, uh, or a superstar. Like, not a lot. 
a lot of the artists that you see mostly, they're not pulling those type of numbers. Except for, you know, the pop stars who always pull those numbers. But him, he just has his own little his own style and I I believe it. I believe he could be like that top artist that has a you know, just dominated everybody and everybody's like, "You know what? Like from the 20 the the artist of the decade of the 2020s could be Lil Nas X. The, on the billboard, just all of that. He could be the artist, he can win Grammys, do whatever he wants. Really? I don't know who Tram is.